Don't think I'll steer it. Let's go. Are you all right, Grandmother? We're here to rescue your majesty. Claudia. And Estelle. So, you're finally here. I was getting quite bored of worth waiting. Lieutenant Lawrence! What are you doing here? <laughs> My duty to the guard her, is to guard her majesty. Is it truly any wonder that I'm here? Enough of your crap! No matter how strong you were, you've still got uh, three to one odds on you. This one certainly seems skilled. Just who is he? Commander of the Intelligence Division 2nd Ops, 2nd Lieutenant Lawrence Belgar. Former Jaeger and scout for the Colonel. So, you've done your research. Hmm, I see. Most impressive. But, what else would one expect of the daughter of an S rank bracer? One Cassius Bright, I believe. Huh? I had a raid into the party of himself. Fuck him, Ironhead. Hope you had a good stream. Uh, was it. Mer was it Capcom vs. SNK? You were streaming earlier? My master's rank has never been public knowledge, and yet. You're not the one to be trifled with, I see. Haha. -ha. I know you as well. Sherazard Harvey. Also known as the Silver Streak, C ranked. And very close to ascending to B rank, it seems. Please, release my grandmother. If you were just fighting in the employ of the Colonel, is there no further call to do this? There are more things in heaven and earth than are dreamt of in your philosophy. Played Stair, Parador, PC Engine, before that. Oh, okay. You see only the surface, like that, of a quartz grid. With no concept of the forces at work within. What? Take heed, Princess Claudia. The nation is like an enormously complex orbit. The people are like the units of quartz that provide the power and organize the system. And the territory which houses them is the frame. If you lack means to understand how it works, then you are unfit to be its queen. Huh. An interesting metaphor. You may be even right. I certainly never expected to hear, to hear a theory of the nature of politics at a time like this. <laughs> Pardon my rudeness. You've no need to hear my useless serm sermosing, your majesty. We're not longer than intended to do the outside stuff that can get stressful at home. Yeah, I can understand that too. I don't really understand this all that well. But the general gist is that you don't plan to let the queen go, do you? And if I do not? Obviously we'll take her back by force. Indeed. After we come this far, we certainly can't go back now. You don't give me the impression that you bear us any ill will. But I will bring my blade to bear on you. If I look at my grandmother back... <laughs> Good. In that case, let me show you a little of what I can really do. Huh? Oh, the helmet's coming off. This is serious. Silver hair. No. It's ash blonde. I guess that you were born somewhere up north? <laughs> Indeed, you were correct. Though, it's closer than you might think. What? I trust you will not be offended if I choose not to go easy on you. Simply because you are a woman. Shall we then? Okay, so believe it or not, he's a tough son of a bitch. 6,000 HP, Lawrence unmasked. 
His powerful crafts and her impenetrable defense. A difficult battle. No kidding. So, for starters... You're gonna Earth Guard you. I guess Aerial Storm will be fine to see what, what that's gonna do for damage-wise. Um... What the fuck am I doing here? Let's go. Oh, you can do. Well, I guess you can Earth Guard as well. Uh, Earth Guard yourself. Yeah, you see, it's here. Earth Guard EX, so. So, upgrade yourself. Do a straight up attack because. If he got that going on. Okay. Try this again. There's Earth Wall. She's in the part there too. Fire does against you. I want to heal as well. Let's keep this healing going as well. Let's say no. Okay, still. Um, it's not going to freeze him. Guess we found out what we could do. Okay. Two attacks will do something else. Oh shit! Um. Can we heal her? Can we get to her to heal? Silverthorn! Oh, shit. Why don't you heal yourself? Can I? I can't even get underneath this. Okay. You literally changed the battle on me. Just like wipe me out. And by the way, I wasn't healing in this battle because I knew I would get into that one. How disappointing. I thought you were to prove more of a challenge. How? I gave you so much stronger than during this tournament. He's probably holding back deliberately. Might be as strong as Master Cassius. Grandmother, I I'm sorry. Claudia, still. Don't forget about Sherazard. That would be fair enough, Your Majesty, if you please. They are not mortally wounded, I assure you. Your eyes betray much. You are so young. Yet, you have endured so much, such hardships already. Your Majesty, you are highly qualified for your pity for me. You know the name of Hamel. Who know the name of Hamel? Huh? It's almost time. 
I will return her majesty to you, just as you wished. Huh? If you wish to stop the colonel, you had best hurry on below. You may well already be too late. But, you may be able to prevent any further needless damage from occurring. Below? You cannot mean beneath here, there? Yeah. <laughs> However unpleasant you may find it, I was certain that you would understand their significance. You can show them the way. And now, I bid you adieu. And just like that, he disappeared. Hey! Is he insane? He's gone. Did he drop into the lake? But the water's undisturbed. Just who is this guy? Grandmother, are you hurt? I am unharmed, Claudia. He never laid a hand on me. But more importantly... Estelle! Joshua, thank God you you're all right. You too. Since Colonel Richard and Lieutenant Lawrence weren't in the castle, I started to worry. The Red Helmet guy was here just a minute ago. What? He jumped over the ha that handrail, and well, who knows? He's some kind of monster, all right. I, I see. Praise Adios for keeping you safe. Joshua. Your Majesty. It's good to see you unharmed. Well met, Lieutenant Schwartz. Indeed. I owe all of you a debt of gratitude. You are far too kind, Your Majesty. We're just glad to be of help. I don't think this is over yet, though. Dealing with the special ops inside the castle, but I'm afraid there are bad tidings. I'm hearing forces from every province around the way to Grandsill. On the sounds of it, the intelligence division is somehow maintaining control. I see. Time is short, my liege. I must ask that you board the ID ship and escape at once. No, that I cannot do. The situation has grown more dire. Colonel Richard must be stopped at whatever cost. What do you mean, Your Majesty? Last night, I finally understood the, the true intentions of which the Colonel spoke. He wants the Shining Ring. The Ariel. Ariel. Why does that name sound so familiar? It's one of the Septarions that Ideos gave the ancients. The legend says that it has the power to control nature itself. Oh, yeah. Professor Alvin told us about it. But I thought that was just some silly story that was passed down through the church. Huh? Hmm? So, does it exist? Nah. Uh, Carter's just texting me something, and it's really, really bad. And it lies somewhere in the world. According to an old legend of the royal family, the shiny ring shall bring catastrophe condemning the souls of men to eternal purgatory. It has been sealed within the year interval of the darkest, of the blackest dark that we might retain our humanity. Condemning the souls of men to eternal purgatory? Well, that's not a little ominous. These ones have been passed down to the royal family as a warning. Perhaps this shining ring truly was so dangerous that the royal f family's ancestors sealed it away. Also, there's that massive orbital reaction that was detected beneath this city. If one takes both of these into account, the Shining Ring must be sealed away beneath Grandsil. It makes sense. 
Yes. And I believe that the Colonel has reached the same conclusion. I'm just texting Colette right now because she needs to take her pills. It remains no detail of what exactly the Shining Ring is. But I believe there will be grave danger for all should be restored. It could be a disaster on par with the great collapse of legend. No! Incredible. I excuse me, Your Majesty. Lieutenant Lord has told us to go underground. Well, what did that, that really mean? There was a mysterious room within Grantsel Castle, where nothing, not even a grain of rice, has been kept in generations. Forbidden since long ago. Oh. You mean the treasury? No doubt about it. There's signs that someone came through here recently. And frequently at that. That's not all. The tracks also suggest that someone brought her in something very heavy. I hold the key to this room, but there is a spare. Most likely that's what was used to gain entry. It would seem that we must investigate. Queen Alicia produced the key from her dress. Sylvia wasn't here before. Where'd it come from? Perhaps it's a piece of Colonel Fritz's new construction. In which case, it probably goes down where the shiny, this shining ring is sealed away. Yes. And that may have been the true goal behind the coup from the very beginning. They could never have built such a thing without occupying the castle. That's crazy! Hmm. I mean, it's definitely a possibility. In any given country, a royal sanctuary is generally regarded as involatile. I think that trust would require quite uh, an aggressive plan. Regardless, we'll all probably need to use this to get on the ground. Let's test it to see if it works. Joshua began to inspect the elevator's control panel. What is it? It's locked with some type of horrible energy. It looks like it won't work unless we find some special type of quartz to put in it. What? No. We've come so far. I'm gonna put uh, the screws to one of those special op soldiers. I think we have the key. Yes. That sounds the wisest. Mm. No, that won't be necessary. Huh? Can't be. Oh, Professor Russell. Queen Alicia, it's been quite some time. I'm glad to see you still and Joshua are doing well. Hold up. Professor, what are you doing here? I thought the intelligence division was after you and Zeiss. And on top of that, how did you get here? Grandpa, where'd you go? Hey, enough with the running all over the place. Is everyone in your family as big of pain in the ass as you? But Agate! Oh, Tita? I knew it. Still, Joshua! Just give me a minute. I gotta go call that out of the room.
All right, we are back. Just had to figure out something else to call out this off to try to get her. her he goes, ah, Tila. Thank goodness. I was hoping to get to see you again. I heard at the guild that you were two. You two were fighting at the castle. I'm so glad you're all right, Tila. Thank you for being so concerned. It's good to see you again, Agate. But what are you doing here in the Royal City? Well, we hit out for a bit, but then we happened to upon a cargo freighter bound for Grand Sill. And I figured, what the hell? That's the best place to hide in plain sight after all. You gonna take a pill now? Okay. Yeah, it's strange that, uh, that's a massive bruise. Now everyone can say hi to you. That is really, that looks like really bad. Yeah, I dare say you did. Hi, Bell. Yeah, Bell's here too. So, we're all good. Once we got the lowdown from Ilna, we came straight to the castle. Oh, great. Got something for you from him. Okay, receive here for Hostage Liberation. 2,000 Mira, 10 BP. Let's rescue the Queen. Smell 10 BP. Is this okay? I mean, we haven't reported in. Looks like he got filled in on the general gist of things from a guardsman messenger. So, what brings your amateur asses here? Me? I think we could use at least to beat up the remaining special ops guys. Wait, I know you. It's been a while, Aggie. Thank you for your efforts at the lighthouse. Chloe, right? What's a student doing in a place like this? It seems my granddaughter was in your tent. Hey, Belle. Did he sneeze? Who are you blessing? Oh. <laughs> they said bless you? I'm deaf. It seems my granddaughter is in your debt. Which means that I also owe you my thanks. Eh, don't worry about it. It's all part of the job. Ooh, Bell. <laughs> so, what's up, Granny? You work in the castle? Did these dumb skulls vote you into helping them? Oh, <laughs> There's a... He really should get his ass kicked for that. You barbarian! Do you realize to whom you're speaking? You stand before versus a Queen Alicia of Liberal. Huh? Y you know, she does look sort of familiar. <gasps> you really should loosen that bandana of yours, boy. It's obviously squeezing your brain too tight. Say that again, old man. So, that means this lady would have to be Her Majesty's granddaughter, Princess Claudia. I'm gonna recall Chloe, though. Chloe? Meet the professor's granddaughter, Tina. She's like a little sister. I see. It's a pleasure to meet you, Tita. Let's go bring his ass in the night. No, that's gotta be Olivier. Can't do it with an agate. I'd be happy for call, also copy Chloe. Yes, ma'am. Uh, I I mean Chloe. Aww, I'm a little cutie pie. My name's Sherzer. I'm Joshua from the Stills Mentor. Tor. You can just call me Shara. Uh, okay, Shara. And you can call me Uncle Olivier. No one's gonna call you that. See what I mean? You shut up. Anyway, this elevator seems to be giving you some trouble. What seems to be the problem? And what in Idios' name is going on here? Well, 
Joshua briefly relayed the gist of Colonel Rich's plan and told the professor about the Shining Ring, aka the Ariel. Oh, come on! This is some kind of joke, right? You're not serious. Uh, I can't believe such a thing would be buried here. Hmm. And it happened just as I was. Wait. Hmm. And now it's happened. Just as I was afraid of. If we. Ah. Uh, so if we use this elevator, uh, we can get to where we need to go. Yes, but it has a special lock. Made of quartz, apparently. Uh, that. Let me have a look at it. Uh, this is my own design. It used the card key. You can't undo the lock unless you insert the card that is embedded with the identical quartz. The professor produced a small cable and slid it into the card slot. However, this is an early model. Without any type of failsafe. So, if you feed it just the right amount of workable energy. Woohoo! It's nice going, Prof! I'm impressed. Haha, <laughs> why am I not surprised? Now, shall we descend? Uh, we've got trouble. What is it? Report! The division of the regular army has arrived there to grant us main gate. Looks like they're being led by an officer in, of the intelligence division. What? Three military patrol ships are approaching from the lake. Your orders, ma'am. Of all the damn times, perhaps I should make an appearance in order to persuade them. Grandmother, I will go to the terrace on the roof and address the arriving forces. Lieutenant Schwartz, make your preparations. But what if you're attacked? I believe in them. Misguided though they are, they are still citizens of Liberal. If they see me and hear my voice, I do not believe that they will attack. Your Majesty! All of you! It is with much regret that I ask you to shoulder this burden. Please, Your Majesty, you don't need to say anything else. Do whatever it takes to stop the colonel. Please, leave this to us. Uh. Well, I guess I got my final f already figured out. Maybe. <clears throat> I just gotta figure out the two that's going with me. Yeah, this is the main final part of the game. What the heck? The Romans from the ancient Zermorian civilization. All the seas appear. Oh, I don't get the feeling that this place is completely dead. It seems to function just like the equipment in the Terracetric Towers. Then you know that's moving. I get the feeling that we got some pretty nasty creatures around here, too. Does he need to be reserved for both Agate and Olivier? Or well, we'll see. Structures nearby look to be made as modern materials. I suppose Colonel Richards had some construction going on. I suspect you're right. Building anything at this depth is rather impressive. The ones are even larger than I expected. If we're not careful, we could get terribly lost. Hmm. Maybe it's best if we split up into two groups one for scouting and one stand standby. What do you mean? Basically, we set up some base camp. I'm gonna so book it's... him. Hey, Phantom, what's up? <laughs> he got booked. Roll. I'd have had to do a barrel roll if you're booking someone. Basically, we established a base camp of sorts in a secure location. That's the gist of it. Scouting and will find a way through, and the ones in standby will be available to switch out as needed. Once three paths found, everyone moves forward and establishes a new base. Makes sense to me. Nick, I used to believe our current location will be the best place to start from. Still, so, Joshua, you'll be the ones who decided to be going on which team. Wait, us? But you two are at the very heart of this operation. 
I don't doubt anyone will object. Hopefully your night's been going well, Phantom. We're gonna get about a half hour to this section of the stream, then we're going into Shining Force. I agree. As do I. I'll follow your lead. Ah. Like I have a choice. I mean... Hmm. I have faith in you to make the right choices. Sounds fine with me. Cheshwa, what do we do? No need to think about it too hard. Things are tough, we can always turn back and switch our people out. Oh, well then. Okay, so the two... Hmm, this is the thing I want. I love Chloe's healing, but then Estelle's got the healing too. And I got Olivia set up as a healer. What I'm going to do for party one is I'm going to take Tita. I think it's going to be party two. Shara, I do like for party one. That'll set me up fine. Olivia for party two, Agate for party two, Zin and Chloe for party two. Spoiler alert, they all suck, yeah. As if you're not training them well. Still, I'm gonna send Z to accompany you. If you find a suitable spot, use his base, please send him back. He'll be able to show us the way wherever you were. Screen! Ah, good idea. That way, search party won't have to backtrack to get the others. Do you see? Scream! 